This is St. Mary's Clubhouse. Hi, welcome to St. Mary's Clubhouse here in Syracuse, New York. St. Mary's has been open for 40 years to serve the po uh, population of the Syracuse community. Uh, it's open for members with mental health issues uh, in a voluntary way to come in, sign in, and enjoy their day and use the facility to whatever way that they hope. Uh, we have billiards hall, we have a movie theater, uh, we have a kitchen. Uh, we have a lot of different areas for members to uh, enjoy their time and to help get over a diagnosis of some sort. Um, as we see here, we have uh, Mary at the reception desk and she's helping Christina sign in as she's going to enjoy her day here at St. Mary's. So good morning. Hi, good morning. Would you like to explain a little bit about what you do here at uh, St. Mary's Clubhouse? Yeah, so basically I work as a receptionist. I greet people when they come in and then I have them sign in on what time they came and pick up any necessary papers they may need for their day. And then I do a lot of filing when we get new members and things like that. Is now, is there a certain amount of time that a member needs to stay at the clubhouse? No, um, we usually try to get people um, to start working as soon as possible um, through the work of the day and help them find jobs that they like. Beautiful. And so if I come in as a member early in the morning, I can I can leave during the day and come back at night? Yep, you can come anytime. You can arrive either at 8, at 10, and stay until 12 or 2, whatever, whatever you like. Nice. So that's very like voluntary and a respectful way to... Um, help individuals throughout their day. Yeah, you don't have to stay all day. You can just come as long as you like. Beautiful. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. So before we continue our tour here at St. Mary's Clubhouse, let's take a minute to uh, reflect on Mary's past and what her life experience was before she was introduced to the St. Mary's Clubhouse. Hey, I'm Mary. Um, so some background about myself. I have borderline personality disorder, which just causes me to be very impulsive and reckless at times. I also have a lot of anxiety about things that I can't control and I get irritable very easily. Um, borderline personality disorder also causes me to have intense anger at times. Um, when I'm not on my medicine, I can feel paranoid and just not, not, not okay. So um, let's see, how did I come here to be at the Psychosocial Clubhouse? Um, I used to come here years ago, and I finally decided to come back about eight months ago, and I've just been here ever since. Um, I came back because I didn't know where I belonged. I felt like I couldn't do anything. I just had problems with my job. Everything was just going wrong. Um, I hated taking my medications, so I stopped, and I wasn't getting along with my family. My friends were gone and I just really had no choice but to come back. At that point, mental illness was just really um, just ruining my life. Um, it was hard at first coming back here because I had to learn how to handle my emotions and I had a hard time dealing with my anger. Um, but being a part of the clubhouse has helped me a lot with this. Um, I've learned new interpersonal skills. I made new friends who actually become like family to me and I just love them. I found um, a job with the help of Lorraine in the Career Center, and life is just great. So continuing our tour here at St. Mary's Clubhouse, we're going to head to the kitchen. The kitchen is an awesome experience for a lot of individuals to cook and to uh, go to classes and continue to uh, learn more about nutrition, health, and wellness. And well, now we're here in the kitchen, and I'd like you to uh, meet Shauna. Hey, Shauna, how's it going today? Good. Hi, Roger. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, so, you just want to tell us a little bit about what you do here in the kitchen? Yes, so um, I became a chef here about a year ago. I worked my way up. I used to just help around the kitchen. And now I help the other members learn um, how to cook and what's healthy and what's not. And it's a really nice environment because we work together and we all feel safe here and we really enjoy it. Awesome. Now, what kind of foods do you cook up? What's your favorite meal? Well, I personally like salad, so today we're going to make salad. We're going to make some pasta a little later, and I usually cook for about 50 people, and I have a whole bunch of helpers, and um, I usually cook lunch and dinner. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. You're welcome. 
Hi, I'm Shayna, and two years ago I started getting severe paranoia, delusions, and hallucinations, which led me to get hospitalized, and that is when I got diagnosed with schizophrenia. I had fallen on hard times, lost my home, family, and financial support. I felt like my mind was dead. Um, I was working with a case manager who asked me to get involved with a psychosocial clubhouse. And after a tour, I thought, maybe I can do this. At first, I felt like they were patronizing, like they were equating my mental illness with me needing to be coddled or something. I'm not sure if that was because I was in survival mode or whether some of them were actually patronizing. but. Maybe I did need a little pampering. When I started working at St. Mary's Clubhouse, I found I felt safer in culinary. It was a lot of fun to be there, even though we had a lot of work to do. We have this rhythm about how we work together. Um, everyone is welcoming and supportive of one another. At first, I started to work as a helper in the kitchen, and then I got promoted to head chef. I have been working as head chef for about a year and I love how safe the environment is and how easy it is for me to get to St. Mary's through um, public transportation. Every morning I take Centro from 8 a.m. and then I take it around 4.30 p.m. to go home. Um, at the clubhouse I feel like I get a lot of respect from my fellow members and the staff relationship has been great. I enjoy the support I get from the social workers and occupational therapists and my position has made me feel very empowered and it changed my life for the better. We're going to make our way to the movie theater and meet Tony. Come on. Hey Tony. Hey Raj, how's it going? <laughs> it's going well. Hey, you want to explain a little bit about what you do here at the movie theater? All right, yeah. So they call me uh, Tony the Theater Guy. And uh, so I keep track of all the movies that we're watching. Um, sometimes if you're getting DVDs or whatever, you're trying to rent, uh, it can add up. So we kind of, <laughs> we kind of, uh, you know, use the projector here. It's a little bit cheaper. Um, around holiday time, we get really nice movies like Miracle on 34th Street. Um, we have a little movie time and then we kind of do it like a reflection time afterwards. Um, you know, whether it makes us think of family or friends, and we kind of get to this interconnectedness. We talk about how we value each other and our roles here at the uh, clubhouse. Um, we got Betty, Betty back here. She's um, off of her shift right now from the cooking. Um, she's enjoying some some movies we got going with some popcorn uh, with, uh, with her friend Mary. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really like it here because I get to feel a sense of worth. You know, I, I was kind of the, one of those guys that thought they didn't really have any skills that they can use out in the workplace. Um, but I'm, I kind of realized with this kind of position that I do have, a, I guess, a natural talent for bringing people together and facilitating conversation. Um, and I'm a big movie lover, so it kind of works out like that. Um, and, you know, I take input from other members, you know, to figure out what movie we want to have. Um, Betty helps by not just bringing popcorn, but other healthy snacks um, so we can all enjoy the movie a little bit better. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, well, Tony, how long have you been working here? Uh, about five years now. I'm not the oldest one here, but I'm uh, not the newest at the same time. Um, Did you have any roles before this uh, movie theater role? No, actually. I've never been in this kind of role, so this is kind of nice for me. It kind of opened up doors I didn't think existed. Um, and hopefully it's going to lead to other roles outside of the clubhouse that I can take on, um, kind of exp expand my um, the job market that I'd, I'd like to get into. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for your time, Tony. No problem. Why don't you join us for a movie sometime? That sounds good. Uh, we learned a little bit about you inside the movie theater, so why don't you explain to us how you got here and a little bit about yourself outside of the movie theater. Alright, how I got here? Um, I guess uh, five years ago I came here. Um, my dad found out about the clubhouse. He told me about it. Um, 
you know, it's kind of sad in a way. I'm 43 years old. My dad's like trying to help me out still, but the fact is that, you know, mental illness kind of leads to a very isolating life. Um, you kind of rely on the people that are closest to you to kind of keep pushing you through. Um, I'm divorced. Uh, I have bipolar disorder. I was um, diagnosed uh, 10 years ago, so five years before I came to the clubhouse. Um, and it was really just those manic episodes that really kind of started bringing me down. Um, I was very impulsive, um, you know, taking trips. I didn't have the money to take trips with. Um, but, you know, I, I came here um, after hopping from job to job. Uh, didn't really feel like I had any skills that were can be applied to the workplace, you know. Um, I came here, and one of the, I don't want to say rules or regulations, I guess one of the guidelines that they kind of try to enforce is that, you know, you have to take your medications, you have to um, be respectful, you know, and that's kind of not really something that they have to enforce. It's just kind of a norm here. Um, so, for example, if I ever uh, need some air outside, if I have, like, an episode coming on, I could just walk out. Um, and that's the nice thing about this clubhouse. It's... Uh, like a revolving door, I would say. Um, you know, there are times when I, I don't really feel like I've had an episode for a while. I'm, I've been on my medications. I've been, you know, happy with the job I have, and I n might not necessarily have to come back for a little while. Um, but if I start to feel isolated out in the, out in society, out in my workplace, you know, I could I, I could just come right back. Um, don't have to call up or anything. That's the that's the sense of the revolving door that the clubhouse has. Just come and go and you, as you please. Um, and I didn't always have, um, you know, a job outside. I, I really relied on the clubhouse. I, I came here, um, you know, in the morning at 9.30 in the morning. Or no, 9, 9 in the morning. Um, I would be in time for the 9.30 meetings. Uh, I'd get out at 5 o'clock, just like a typical work day. So that's like a work order day. Um, and I kind of started to lose interest um, I would come in later, miss the meetings, leave earlier. Um, but it wasn't until someone kind of helped me into the social aspect of the clubhouse. So um, I guess, uh, you know, feeling isolated in society kind of leads you to being more of a introverted person. But here at the clubhouse, it's not like that at all. They really, um, I guess they kind of promote like this interconnectedness, this uh, the sense that, you know, the sense of respect and, um, you know, you kind of just, um, there's no stigma here, you know, so, um, so yeah, so um, someone helped me with the social aspect by inviting me out to some social gatherings outside the clubhouse, not on a work order day, um, and then I kind of got this renewed interest, so I... Uh, um, you know, I, <clears throat> I started coming in earlier again, I started staying a little bit later, but not because I felt like I had to, because I really enjoyed it here. Um, and so I, I took up this position as, um, the movie facilitator, and I really enjoyed that. Um, I, I, like I said before, I, I didn't really realize I had these kind of skills. Um, I definitely considered myself an introverted person, but I love movies, and I love analyzing things, so it kind of... That helped bring about these discussions after the movies, and people really enjoyed that. And that kind of helped me develop my sense of being a leader, leader in group discussions, and people kind of, I think, respect that in a different way. They kind of felt more likely to approach me or, you know, start social um, social gatherings with me or kind of just start a conversation. So um, that kind of went on for a couple of years, and then I guess my role led me to getting a position on the board, um, on the board of directors. So there's only a couple members that are on that board. And that was kind of more of a transitional employment for me, uh, kind of um, position. And then that led me to getting a job out in the workforce as a consultant. Um, people love the ideas I had to bring to the table. And so now I hold a full-time job. I'm kind of in and out of, out of the clubhouse as I see fit. but. Um, you know, it's still a great place to be. I'm still really taking a lot out of it. Um, so, 
Well, awesome, Tony. Yeah, thanks so much. And your experience means a lot to us and everything you do here at the clubhouse definitely does not go unnoticed. Thank you very much, Raj. Well, hey, I'm Blade, and I'm the, I'm the barber here at St. Mary's uh, Social Clubhouse. I've been the barber here for about mm, 12 years now, and before that, I didn't even have experience cutting hair, honestly. I, got in, I didn't cut my hair, and as you can see, I don't cut my beard. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, but uh, 14 years ago, they uh, gave me a set of clippers, and they said, hey, go at it. And I said, all right, well... I'll give it a shot. So uh, I've been cutting hair ever since, you know. Before then, I really didn't have a job. I didn't really know where to go. And my case manager was like, hey, you should try St. Mary's Clubhouse. And I said, all right, I'll give it a shot. So I gave it a shot, and I came here, and, and now I'm here. And uh, I've been cutting hair, like I said, for a while, and uh, they like my haircuts. I mean, hey, you want a mohawk? I'll give you a mohawk. <laughs> but uh, today I'm here with uh, Randy. And uh, you're getting a haircut from me, right, right? Right. And how long have you been getting a haircut from me for? Uh, about a month now. Oh, you like your hair? <laughs> like second time. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Oh, that's Let's good. Check it out. Woo! That's all me, baby. Blade cuts. But um, so seriously, though, uh, the clubhouse has been really good for me because it's, it's taught me a lot about myself. And before here, uh, I didn't really talk to people much, you know? I was pretty much an introvert, and I did my own business, and, you know, I'm pretty wild and crazy, and people didn't really like that. They didn't talk to me, and here they do. They, you know, they allowed me to cut hair, and they give me uh, blades and razors, <laughs> but besides the fact, uh, but people, I get to meet them, and I get to talk to them, and I get to feel a part of something, which is, which is really neat, if you, if you know what I'm saying. Like, it's just easy to be a part of something so cool, like St. Mary's Clubhouse. Um, you know, and it's hard for people sometimes to afford haircuts and afford shaves. And here at the clubhouse, they provide them for free. Uh, you know, they come in here and if they're looking for a job and, you know, they're looking to get out to the community and they have disheveled hair and crazy beards <laughs> and, you know, they can't find a job, they can come here and I'll, I'll slice them up and we'll give them a good cut. And then they'll be able to go out and, you know, look better into the community and at a free of charge. No tips. I like Mountain Dew, though. <laughs> but today I'm going to finish up this cut and uh, you'll be on your way and you'll see the rest of this uh, awesome clubhouse and, uh, you know, we'll go from there. So, are you ready? Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> No hair on the shirt. Right, uh, just got this. All right. Hey, let's go check out the recreation area where we're going to meet up with some fellow members and explain kind of what happens down here at the rec center. So now we're into the rec room where uh, Randy is playing a game of pool. Hey, Randy, you want to explain a little bit about the rec room for us? What's up, Raj? Yeah, so uh, recreational room is what, uh, what I'm in charge of. Um, you know, a lot of people get preoccupied with, like, the work tasks that they have to do here at the clubhouse, but... Uh, you know, there's a lot more to it than that, you know, like, we're here as a community, and a community is not all about work, it's about social activities, and, you know, I like to think that I bring a social aspect to the floor, like that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we got some members here, we got, um, Shayna and Mary, who are here, you know, enjoying some recreational time, it doesn't necessarily have to be pool, even though I do encourage pool. Would you like that? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so we encourage recreational time so that you kind of get your mind off tasks. You know, it's not just work tasks. You know, even though it might be a work order day, you could be here for purposes besides having to work, you know. So we like to be here. It's social. Um, how's it going, guys? Good. Good, yeah. So I think Shane is probably looking up some new recipes or something. What are you up to, Mary? Just painting cards. Oh, wow, look at that. So, um, yeah, so it's really important to kind of get some other aspects to the clubhouse besides the work order days and the work tasks. Um, you know, it's, the way I see it is um, recovery is a journey, not necessarily a destination. So, um, you know, you can't really come here with the mindset of, you know, I'm only here for this amount of time until I get better to be able to go back out in society. It's not how it works. Um, you come here in and out, you know, whenever you need to, but, um, yeah, um... Now, do you run any tournaments or anything like that to bring more oh, members yeah, into the rec room? Of course, you know, we have, like, a uh, billiards tournament once a week. Um, Mary's prepping for the card tournament. She's a master of cards. Um, you might catch her playing some cards at the receptionist desk, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, she's really good at that. Um, but yeah, no, we, we have these activities that we have something else to look forward to, you know, besides just doing work tasks. Um, 
And, you know, a sense of community is really important here. Um, so, yeah, I would say we're all on the journey to recovery. You know, personally, myself, um, I have a history of anxiety and depression. But, uh, you know, focusing on social activities is something that kind of gets my mind off of, you know, the tasks that give me anxiety. So this is uh, something that really su was suited for me, and I think uh, the supervisors kind of recognize that, so they helped me find this position. So I think we're all liking it here. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Randy. St. Mary's, work doesn't always have to happen inside the clubhouse. Also, we promote jobs outside the clubhouse. So why don't you come with me? We'll go meet Lorraine up in the Career Center and see how she helps find members' jobs out in the community. Hey, so now we're into the Career Center where Lorraine, the head of the Career Center, is currently helping member Stephanie find a job. Hey, Lorraine. Hi, how's it going? It's going all right. You want to explain a little bit of, to us about what the Career Center is here at St. Mary's? Yeah, so basically we just help people try to find jobs within the community. Um, there's three types of jobs that we help with, transitional employment. That's when um, they usually work 15 to 20 hours per week, and then um, they have the support of the staff to go with them if they need any help, while they're there, help them form a relationship with the um, work site manager, we help them with that. And then we have um, supportive um, employment, which is um, kind of like the same thing. And then lastly, we have independent employment, when the um, member just finds a job on their own, they're able to go out into the community and just um, work as if like a regular, typical person would. Awesome. So the job finding thing is awesome. And uh, now, do you do mock interviews or anything like that? Yeah, we stuff? do mock interviews here. Um, have some um, things to help Christina out with um, portfolios, what to have when she goes on an interview, um, how you should dress, like business attire. You should have um, polished shoes and everything looking nice. And then we also have worksheets to help with answering interview questions um, when they say like, "What's a strength that you have?" There's Examples that you can say so that way you don't have to try to worry about coming up with questions, answers to the questions off the top of your head. And then we have um, an updated list of jobs that are here in the community. So they can always come in to see what kind of things they like and pick from there. And then we also work on resume building as well. So we have a sample resume and help them set it up. Awesome. You do awesome things here. Uh, and how about you, Stephanie? Have you enjoyed the experience you've had here at the Career Center? Yes, I have. Lorraine's been helping me a lot. I have two interviews set up, and I'm looking forward to it, and we're going to practice my interview skills so I can get the job. Awesome. Well, good luck to you, and uh, thanks, Lorraine, and uh, that's the Cruise Center. You. So now we're outside St. Mary's meeting up with Christina, who is in charge of the Outdoor Activities Club here on the uh, Clubhouse. How's it going, Christina? Good. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. So explain a little bit to us about your role as the Outdoor Activity Coordinator. Well, I usually take um, a lot of the members on daily walks and sometimes we also take jogs because getting outdoors, it's, it's very important to see nature and it helps a lot of the members who are stressed or having a bad day um, try to clear their mind. Um, and then a lot of them tend to stay in, so I try to bring them out so we can maybe go for jogs, so they can get their endorphins going and just be more physically active. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful place you have here with a beautiful scenery, and even here on a winter day, you're able to get out and go enjoy nature. How long have you been doing this for? About um, two years now. And how did it benefit you in particular? Uh, well, I was diagnosed with um, generalized anxiety disorder as well as major depressive disorder. And I used to spend a lot of time laying in bed and that was not good for me. So um, my case manager asked me to join here and I did. And she said, try to go outside more. And it's been helping me a lot as well as the other members that I try to help. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. Uh, we appreciate everything you do here at the clubhouse. Thank and you. Nice meeting you. Same so I'm new to the St. Mary's Clubhouse. It's a renovated uh, fitness center located here in the basement. Uh, this is kind of new to my heart because of uh, what the fitness center has done for myself personally. Um, after being attached to drugs for many years, and being living on the street, um, finding a place where I could go and kind of let loose for my uh, let loose for my problems, and uh, 
kind of hang out with something that helped me get through these problems. Um, because of state funded grants, uh, we were able to uh, renovate this area into a pretty nice aerobic and fitness center uh, for all the members to use. It's open 24 hours a day for anyone who wants to come in. Um, and like I said, this is something that I really pushed for as a member at the state, St. Mary's uh, Clubhouse. Um, being attached to drugs, like I said, uh, you know, I lost my family, I lost my friends, I lost my support system. And I kind of gained that when I started working out. Uh, noticed that I gained a friend group, I gained a, a support system, and other people who enjoy working out as much as I do. So I owe that to St. Mary's Clubhouse and for the, the new uh, fitness center that we got here. So not only does this uh, rec recreation center tie into what we're uh, doing here for health and wellness, but it also ties into what Shana was doing in the kitchen, providing meals and healthy choices for our members to eat better and healthier, and what Christina does on the nature walks. It provides a very holistic approach to the road to recovery so individuals can find a safe, enjoying, and uh, healthy place for them to not only get over their mental illness, but um, find individuals that are struggling as well as they are to get that support system and to live a better and healthier lifestyle. So, you've seen it all. That is St. Mary's from the kitchen to the recreation center. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed the tour.